white stuff coming from up there. Snowing out again. It's like crazy out there. So what are we doing? It's what we always do here, guys. We're coming in, but I got something new to show you today. Uh, you know it. We've uh, now turned on the Gavitas, and uh, we've added a table. Why? Because we're going to be cutting clones today. So we, we got the Gavitas going because we want to warm up the room. You see it's at 86 degrees. Here it says that it's cooling on 81. So we got, we go, we got the room rocking out right now. So it's actually pretty hot in here. But uh, you can just see how fantastic these plants are doing. And as always, we got the vermitim. We got the, we're gonna start cutting some clones here today, guys. We're talking about the organics. We use Nemesis for the, for the thrips. We use sticky strips to be prevented and see if there's anything happening in this room. If there is any bugs, we're gonna use the, of course, we're gonna be using Verma tea because we're gonna get into organic tea system. Um, and, and as always, Medi One. Yeah. That's the stuff that I'm gonna use. That's the stuff that I love using for that plant right there. On this side, we're using the dual fuel with the Gropedo. We're having fun. The best part about it is we wanted to get 42 clones from that plant about a month and a half, two months ago. About two months ago, we wanted 42 clones to fill this room. You think we can get it? Well, let me show you here what we got going on here now, guys. Look at the clones over here. See that? One, two, three. See these clones? Isn't that perfect? Four, five, six, seven. That's just there. Eight, nine. Oh, yeah. So I'm taking this jacket off. We're gonna start getting prepped for doing the clones. We got the jiffies. We're not doing the Rockwell and we're not doing the Turbo Cloner. I'm old school. Jiffies work for me. That's what's working for me right now. And until such time, that's what I'm staying with. Because we tried the Turbo Cloner. We have problems with it getting the roots too hot. I'll learn more about that. But this step is about my medicine. Medi Kush is the medicine that works so well for me. And what works the best for me? Jiffies, beat bucks. So let's lock us in here and let's get some stuff going here. Let's start cutting some clones with you guys because what? I want to see roots for Christmas. Wouldn't that be nice to see roots on Christmas day? That would be fantastic. So we're gonna lock in here and we're gonna start cutting clones. We're gonna root probably under the LED and the 150 watt Endomax. That's what I want to root under. I'm gonna keep everything inside this room. Why? It's too cold out there. I don't want to be heating everything up. This room is efficient. It's running quite fantastic. If we come over here, we can see that we went down to uh, 87. Our memory is 68. Ooh, it got cold in here the other night. So 70, 80, 90, that's 20 degree fluctuation, way too much. So we're gonna work on that. These are things we have to work on. We have to pay attention to this. That's why every day I'm checking my temperatures. It's minus 15 out last night. The room got down to 68. A little cold, so the heater might have to turn up a little bit. Little things we're doing, but when we're cutting clones, we do not want to see that fluctuation inside that dome at all. High humidity, high heat means good roots. So let's move some things around here, guys. Let's get the table in here. And uh, let's get to work. It's that time, time to cut clones. But the most important part when cutting clones, you gotta make sure that that pH water is up to par, right? So, I mean, best thing and the most important thing about cutting clones is, is, is uptake and, and the plants are looking for nutrients. So you definitely do not want to start with a high pH or a low pH. You want that pH to be for me, 6.3, that's the pH I'm looking for. So right away, I'm throwing in my EC. My EC, 0.1. It shouldn't even be that. It should be at like zero because it is just water. But my pH here, as we get this going here, we're gonna check it right away. Got a pH for water, you wanna make sure the pH water is really good. And at the same time, you wanna make sure that you soak your jiffies. So for me, that's what I'm going with. Good old jiffies. What works for me, it's what I like, it, 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 it's, it's what makes me happy, the jiffies. Now I'm using the basic tray here, and I need 42 clones, but I'm going to take 50, just in case. So for me, I put 5 in here, and then I put 10 across, I put 50 in the tray, and then I want to soak it. So I always just lay them out properly, just like this, as you're saying, one at a time. 
get things going here nice. So I'm watching as my pH comes down in the water, which is perfect. I want that. I'm also going to get something else. I'm going to add a little bit of B vitamin, some Aussie tonic. It's for stress when we first cut those clones. Just give them a little bit of um, extra, extra love. I want to make sure that they're not stressed out. So the B vitamins happen to help a lot with stress. I'm going to get all of that, but I mean, what we're getting here now, down today is cutting clones for the new room. I like that. That must be like six, eight months since I've been in this room. I had my major surgery. And uh, I'm feeling fantastic, by the way. The neck is doing awesome. A few complications, a little bit of vibration and stuff that will probably never go away, but definitely a lot better from what I used to feel like. So 100% things are great that way. Now, now I'm concentrating on being able to have the Medicush specifically for my medicine, for, for my muscle spasms, and, and for my pain control. It, it's what works best for me. And every year I do one full crop of Medicush for the year, so I have enough medicine for the year of this particular strain. So it's like making sure that I have enough is, is first making sure I have good, clean, organic medicine is the next step. Bug free, mold free, synthetic free. That's what I'm working on. So I used to always heat up water and put boiling water into the puck so you can see the heat up really quickly and I put the dome on top and come back later and have nice moisture on the inside of the dome. But today, I think I'm just going to let these soak. We're going to get these going. And we're going to get into this main mob here. And we're cutting holes just off of this one corner. Then I might have a special surprise. Because our good friend Mike had been working on something for me. Mike has been reverting the Dennis Hopper the LR Kush, the Larry Romlin, the number two pheno I had there from about two years ago, and an old Medi Kush. So we had them outside, if you guys remember. So I figured I'd do something a little special with Mike. Marlon and I don't know how to, how to really see a plant see its change. So when you watch a plant go from bud back into re-veg and cut clones off that plant, for Mike it was just an amazing experience. We'll take you over there, we'll show you what we're talking about, have a little bit, and then we'll come back here. So maybe we'll get over there. As these are getting ready to go in here, we should go over and take a look at what I've been doing with Mike. Now, me personally, if I'm going to go over there because Mike did have bugs, I will be completely changing. I'll be going over there, checking his room, but when I leave his room, I go home, take those clothes off, put them into the washing machine, go up to the shower, put back on these clothes that are clean for this room, maybe one that tanner, jogging pants. That's what I'm going to be wearing in here quite a bit. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. But you know what? I'm doing 55. Because why? Apparently you guys in the U.S. can't drive 55. That's why. So, there is 50, 50 feet bucks. We got a water sitting in here right now, and, and my pH says on my water that's 6.9. Now for me, that's way too high for these to be able to uptick. Like I said, I'm at 6.3. So I'm gonna do some natural pH. Hi guys, I guess we're back here now, and uh, getting ready to take this mom. Push this one out of the side, we'll take some clones, and the first thing we were really concerned about was our water. So as you can see right now, my water is at 6.4. 6.4, perfect. Really, really happy with that. So I'm taking my gauges out and putting this back in over here. That's basically the tap water that I'm dealing with. So you want to take like your, your pH of your, of your own water coming out of your tap. And remember like a lot of waters that I'm using will have like chloramine or chlorine in it. So I fill up my jugs and I let them sit overnight for at least 24 hours. And that gets away with the chlorine. So it's like a little helpful hint. Make sure you let it sit out overnight because you don't want chlorine um, rooting your clones, right? Might not work. So other reasons why maybe they're not working, maybe you have too much chlorine in your water. There's other reasons why um, we have to ensure that we have a good root zone. And A start with, well, we've got the peat pucks, jiffies. We know how those are good. Then we have to make sure our water's good. So we know that's good. 
And now, I'm going to cut and close. I'm always going to keep a little bit of water off to the side here. And right here, yeah, you know that. I'm just pouring this in here. We're going to let these swell up. And as these are swelling up and getting ready, I don't really put about that much in there for this thing right up. I want to make sure they don't overlap, so I always kind of take a quick look. As you can see, things are just floating in the top here. Kind of fun. Get the floating part there. Yeah, I get these floating, so you can soak them. I like to soak them inside of my tray. That way, when it's all done, it's ready to go. And of course, when I do that, I grab myself. I got a brand new dome here, guys. So I'm not playing around here. Now, some people use hot water. I have in the past. I use hot, really warm water so it swells quickly. You want to make sure the dome and the trays match. Really important to get that proper seal to keep the humidity inside of there. So that's one thing I want to take a look at. So now that we got our pH water perfect, we're good to go. You know one thing I forgot to do, guys? I forgot to put the Aussie tonic in. So what I'm going to do right now, as that is kind of soaking in, I'm going to grab my spoon and I'm going to put one mil. Remember, make sure everything is always clean. I'm going to put one mil of the Aussie tonic in there. So that's one thing I just forgot and wanted to take mention of the Aussie tonic. And it says for cuttings, one mil, one mil for, per gallon. So you know what? I just used a gallon. I got uh, one mil here. And I'm doing one mil of Aussie right into there and I'm mixing this up right away. So we're going to get this all kind of. Now we're going to mix it a little bit because I just put that Aussie tonic in there. So give this a mix. But really in reality, this is what I use. It's good for stress. I talked about that in the beginning. I like to use the Aussie tonic and when I do my rooting, when I go for my cuttings. Just a little bit of stress because I'm about ready to stress this mother out, aren't I? All right. So to ensure we get some good cuts, we grew this for the last two months. So we already know that, we've all done the videos together, you've all seen it, if you haven't you can go back and take a look. Now we've got this beautiful mom sitting here. This is, this is great. Now I did feed the other day, and I fed pretty low on that, and then I just gave it a bunch of water. So we just gave it water, water. So right now, you know what, I kind of want to get into an organic tea, we're going to talk more about that. But we're taking clones today. That's what we're doing. And yes, I'm always drinking my espresso. Espresso long, double espresso, a little out of extra hot water. That's what I like. Just saying if you ever want to go for coffee. Okay, guys. Here's my mom. Now, I did have a little bit of thrift damage in the very beginning that we were treating it with, of course, the Nemesis, which you already know about. So I've got the Nemesis right here. I treated those plants with the Nemesis for, for the thrips, um, and they're just flowering thrips. They're really known here in the Pacific Northwest around the fall time, so we do have a little bit of damage. Um, but you know what? We're cutting clones from this, and then the new clones, we're going to get into a new regimen of dipping everything. That's definitely going to happen. But when cutting my clones, guys, we're going to get you right in here. I'm just going to bring the camera over here with you, just like this. Boom. So I really want to take a look at what we're doing here. So you can see how we separated this plant. We started with this one main branch right here. So I got this main branch right here. I got this main branch here, and then I got the center plant right down the center. So for me, cutting off this main one, I'm going to start low here because I'm going to have this plant coming from the bottom. But I mean, just like right down here at the very bottom. Sorry guys, I'm going to kind of going to have to bear with me here. So right down here, this one right here, you kind of see that. I'm just going to peel that off the stump. Boom. As I peel, I got these nice scissors here from Team B Naturals. Thanks, guys. Or I got the little ones that they handed me. So, of course, I'm using these right away. So, I peeled that off. And I grabbed these little scissors for cutting clone. And I did that. Look at that. Isn't that nice? Look how beautiful. You can see how I just peeled that off. All right. And you can see the top root there. Now, I'm just going to kind of cut that like that there. And I'm going to put this in this cup of water over here. So we have this cup of water, right here, boom, right into the water. I'm going to seal that off right away, so that way I got ensuring I got a really good clump. Now we're going to come back over here and we do the same thing. Now for me, I like to peel off the stalk because I have that opportunity right now that I'm able to do this. And then I can get some really, 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 really nice clumps. So as I'm kind of working through here, we do the same on this one right here. So 
This is where I'm going to probably start my new mom from, right from here. I'll be cutting this whole branch off. So once again, I just kind of peel it. Hold down and peel, and I don't want to cause too much stress. And you can see exactly what I'm doing there. You can see how that just peels off. And you got that taproot right inside there. See? There you guys go. So then I just kind of give us a quick little pluck. Get that leaf off there, and into my water I go. So kind of, you know, this is kind of how I'm doing things, but now in reality, what I really want to do is I'm gonna come right down to here, just like this, because this is gonna be a this is gonna be a mom. So I kind of want to change this into. I want to bring these bottom ones up and grow them up so I can get some more clones and stuff like that. So I kind of want to start keeping this plant a little low. And I'm gonna start. This is me doing what I love to do. I'm gonna start by cutting this whole branch off just like that. So I mean, that's what I've done. Just cut the branch off. Now with this, I can work on this. Now I can show you a little bit closer here. So what I'm doing here now, guys, is I'm taking this particular branch just like this, right here like that, and I'm just peeling. See? I'm just gonna peel. Just like that. That's it. I can peel it right off if I want. That's what I'm doing. Just to show you guys. But then, of course, I wanna cut that off. So I'm getting right inside of there, getting right in here. I'm just gonna cut it off like that. I'm gonna cut that leaf off. I'm gonna cut this leaf off. And I'm gonna put this into my water just over here like that. So, pretty much that's how I cut my clones. It's really easy. Um, this is how I like to do it. This is why the reason why I did that again. So, once again, you can see the nodes right here. Now, if I was gonna cut that, I would cut it right about here and I can cut this branch. But instead, this is how I'm doing this one's here. I'm just peeling that off like that. Making my life easy. I'm gonna do several different ways. I'll do a couple different with the tray. So here's will be the first, like say 10. I'll try a different way. This is more of the smaller ones. This is great for putting right into the ends of the corners. And I'll get some bigger ones in the in the room and stuff like that. So it's kind of getting things going here, guys. I kind of want to show you what I was gonna do with this. It's not getting down to the top of this plant. Take a really, really nice cut. And I cut this right like this. That's a beautiful top. You like that? I like that. I think that's amazing. I like that. So now what I'm going to do with this particular plant here is I'm just going to cut it right here. Boom. I'm going to cut this great big fan leaf off because it really don't need it. Boom. Now see how big this leaf is? I mean that's beautiful. That's way too big to put inside my cloning tray. Like way too big. Plus these big leaves here are going to suck up way too much. So I'm going to cut that off. I'm going to cut that off. Now this here, I'm going to go below this node right here. See right there? And I cut that on a 45. Boom. Just like that. Cut that on a 45. You can see the top roots in there. Now for me, I used to always just give it a scrape too, just to kind of open it up. Some people cut this in half. I'm going to put that right in. But that's that's the top. That's a beautiful clone. That's going to go in the middle of this. I'm going to put this on inside of here. I'm going to get different parts of this plant for rooting and stuff like that. So I mean, now that I've got this going, I can kind of just reach right inside of this plant. I can take a look at how my whole plant is going to rise. You can see how the inside of this plant is looking. So as I'm kind of bringing more right inside of here, we can take a better look together here and stuff like that. You can see how I'm able to get right in here, take a look at a beautiful clone right here in the middle. Now I'm taking that one right out of there, 100%, because that's a beautiful clone. Boom. Like I said, I'm peeling. Peel that out. There we go, once again. This is what I do. Showing you how I, uh, how I grow my medicine. Lady Kush. I won two cannabis cups with this strain, 2011, treating yourself first place. In 2012, I won second place. So that was pretty cool. So this is the strain that uh, works well for me, guys. I can bring you around. Make sure you all know what's going on in here. Now in particular, I'm going to keep a little bit of water, always, because I'm cutting clones off of this here right now, so put some water in there. That gives you an idea, guys, you know? You can see what we're doing here, how we're going to create the top of this, and I'm just going to cut this out and let the bottoms fill out again and stuff like that. So I'm pretty much uh, getting into the side of this plant here, and we're going to work really hard inside. This is probably the next one right here, so I can kind of get a turn. You can see how nice that clone is right there. So. It's just pretty much, you can see right there. Now I can just get inside of here. Beautiful, beautiful clone. 
peel that off, give that a cut once again, bring that out. Oh yeah. And uh, then of course, over to the jar. So always put it in water directly after. You want to kind of want all the bubbles in there. You want that you don't want any air in there. So I'm traveling. I'll put the water in there. You can see the bubbles come up right away. We'll take a better closer look. We'll try and get to that. But so you know, cotton clones getting in here, determining how this mother plant's gonna go. I mean, look at this beautiful clones in here. Just beautiful. I'm so happy, so happy with this plant right now, guys. I mean, beautiful clones. That's what we we're trying to obtain with this. Is creating this mom plant, and I'll be able to keep getting more clones off of this is by cutting the tops off of this and letting the bottoms flourish out. We'll create more clones that way and you'll see exactly what I'm getting at. That's why I cut that one branch off. I kind of want to start with that one in particular, which is right here. So now I get these bottom ones to come out. Now this will come into a plant up to here and we'll see how that creates and that will be beautiful off of this one. And then the best part about that is right below that is another great clone. Now you can see how this wasn't getting that much light because it was so deep in there and we're starting to get in. So, you know what, we're gonna work on this. This is kind of like the one we'll see in the corner. You'll see how this comes back and how it kind of reverses itself in a sense. So we got about 10 in here so far, I would think. I think we're gonna have no problem getting the numbers that we're looking for. And so I'm quite, quite, quite happy. Now, just say I wanna take the bottom from this one here because this was pretty long. So I'm not gonna have to go all the way up. So I'm gonna go like probably right about here inside. I don't know if you guys can see this or not. So I'm gonna kind of show you what I'm gonna do in here and stuff like that. So right here, we got this one plant right here. And now it comes down here. This is a great clone here. I'm gonna probably cut it just above here and allow this. But if I do this properly, this is gonna keep growing, all right? So I'm going to cut this right here, just like that. Pull this out. Now that's a great clone again, right? But once again, big leaves. So sometimes you see leaves like this. I'll just so I'm gonna get that going, but that's I, no. Just getting that like that. So then I get a good clone. I'm gonna cut below this. I'm gonna get right in here. And you know, I'm gonna cut this on a 45 down here. I'm gonna put that in the jar. Pulling out this center. Getting lots of amazing cuts in here. There you guys go. I'm gonna keep rooting away here, and I'm gonna wait for these jiffies, how these are kind of softening up now, as you can see what's going on here. You can see what I was talking about. So, as these are kind of getting more ready, so they're standing on top of each other, which is kind of cool. We can start putting our, now we know the pH water in here was 6.4. We use uh, one mil of Aussie tonic. And pretty much that's all we're using. Then we use uh, two different rooting hormones. I'm gonna use the stem root number two, kind of the basic that everybody uses. Right here, stem root number two, basic. And I'm also gonna use one of the higher end cloning gels, Clonex. This is probably the most expensive on our shelf at our store, Pacific Northwest Garden Supplies, um, located in all areas of British Columbia actually just google that but um, this is where I work I work here in, in Mission BC and uh, this is the most expensive rooting gel on our shelf I was like why let's give it a shot see if it, go if it goes against the regular stuff that's like 12 bucks and this is like 50 see what happens I'm just you know we got to try it out together so that way you guys know so this is getting nice and wet and then I'm going to show you the stages of moving these over once I get to the stage, because these are almost ready and there's enough water in the tray still. So, but you want them not to be hard. The hard in the middle here, it's got to soften up. So you want them to be all nice and soft and open up. I always like to make sure they're all facing up. You'll see the difference between the bottoms and the tops. So. There we go. We got that going, we got this going. And then of course, for me, I like to get things going here. And what I do, 
I never put the same thing in here, so I'm going to put my, my, my powder just like this. That's pretty good. Now I can put this over here because I don't need it on the table. Same with gel. I'm going to do the same with the gel. I'm just going to pour it right into the lid. Boop. Just like that. And I'm going to put this over here, but at the same time, I'm going to actually put something over top of these so nothing falls inside of here. Ooh, I got a bee! Now this is pretty cool, guys. Look at that. We got a bee. A bee came out of nowhere, so we got a we got a bee in the middle of the winter. He's probably not too happy right now. I guess he must be hibernating somewhere in the garage. Gonna have to find that spot where the bee's coming from. So he was underneath uh, the heat pan. Sure, he'll find a, a place to die pretty soon. Maybe we'll see what happens. A bee in the middle of winter. Never seen a bee when it's snowing outside. That was pretty cool. Anyways, we're getting right back in here, guys. So, as always, I got my scissors, got my pruning shears, I always got my coffee. We got this all ready. We got these almost perfect. So, I'm pretty happy with these. And I kind of just gush them up. I get them kind of a little gushy. So, I'm going to grab the side, as you can see, and I just kind of give it a squish. Kind of opens them up a little bit. So, as you can see, I go like that. And then, as soon as I give it a a squish, you can see it kind of opens up and pops up because of it being inside of its little uh, nest. I always call it. It's kind of like a little nest. Oh. So I'm getting this all ready. Showing you exactly how I cut clones. Everybody's got different methods, I think, but you know what? Only one method works. Just gotta cut clones. So this is really full of water now. I'm going to use the leftover water to pour right back into this plant. Kind of works. So for me, I'll go ahead and give them a squeeze and a shake. Make sure, just like that. <coughs> Everybody's got ways of how they do little little tricks. Their little ways of how they do it. So I always like to say, give it a little push, give it a little shake, give it a little push, give it a little shake. So give it a little push, like that. So that's how I get my clones ready, guys. And so I get my peats ready, I should say. Get my peats ready. So, like I said, they're, they're nice. They're nice and they're perfect. Just enough that a little bit of water is coming out the bottom, because of course, once these goes into the peats, the roots they come pop out when they're looking for water. So you don't want them too wet. At the same time, you got to make sure they're wet enough. Like this one here, it's a little dry. So I'm gonna add a little bit of water to it so I can feel exactly how some of these are. I got an idea of how much water I want in there, so I saw I can kind of do that, and I give it a little bit of water, and that's what's working for me right now. Now this is the water that I know is pH properly. Well, it came from the tap, and the tap is at six seven, six six, six five, and then it goes to six four. Sometimes I get six three, kind of weird here. So I get quite consistently six three, six four. That's what I seem to be seeing from my particular uh, municipality. So I guess everybody's going to have their own little pH fluctuations. Yeah. So I'm going to do about half of this tray here, guys. I'm not going to do the whole thing with you. Because, you know, it's going to get a little boring if we do that. So now that I've got half the tray ready here, I'm going to go with the next steps. So next step to doing this is quite easy. My scissors. Always got my express on. So I got my clones sitting in here. I want to take one out. These are pretty much just ready to go as we peel them off. And and for this one here, we're gonna go right down the middle. The first two, three rows clone X. The last two will be the other. And the best ones, I'm going right here, right in the middle. 
And so you can see it's got a little hole in the middle there. I always kind of like to open that up a little bit. I always just use the little scissors like that. That's why I have the scissors here. I just kind of stick it in and open it up a little bit. Just makes the makes it easier to slide into. As you can see, just like that. You can kind of just say, like, ooh, just like that. Give it a little squish, see a little bit of water come on. Down we go. Rooting your clones, cutting clones for roots. These are cutting clones to obtain more roots. Once again, really easy. He's got the water on. We're going right into the gel right away. We've got the hole in the middle. Let's stick that right in there. Give it a little squirt. There you go. Say it's squirting. Give it a little squirt. It is squirting. Now, got a little gel on there. Once again, right in the gel. Pretty easy, guys. Now, this one I didn't have the hole, and we'll see that you have to. We're going to make sure to put that hole in there just like that. Scissors work well, it's what works for me. In there, give it a little push. See a little bit of water come out the bottom? That's perfect. That's kind of exactly what I'm looking for. It's what I want to see. I want to see a little bit of water coming out the bottom. Now, we did have that one big top. So, let's take this big top. Now with this big top one here, I'm going to give it a little, uh, give it a little snip. I'm going to cut the center of this one. Here's, here's an experiment. Just like that. I'm going to cut that right off like that on an angle. So I've kind of opened that up there. See what I'm doing guys? Just having a little bit of fun. We're going to put that back in the water because we created a little bit of a thing. I'm going to put this in the Clonex. Stick that right in there. Give that thing. There you guys go. We're gonna put that one right on the outer edge here. So we know where that one is. One, two, three, four, five. So it's number 25. We're gonna count this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, forty, fifty, to twenty-three. Number twenty-three. So I want to keep all these ones quite consistent, same height as they are in the in, in the tray. So you're gonna, I'm really going to kind of focus on that, and then of course on the ends I'll have some smaller ones. That's how I always do it. Put the tray in the corner. So once again, making sure I have a hole in the middle, and we go a little squish. Oh yeah. There we go. Now I can move these over. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. So we're getting clones going, guys. We're getting the Medi Kush going again. I'm gonna get back over here and cut some more because once again, these are kind of more of my smaller ones. I'm gonna put down on the ends here on the corners. So I guess I can do that right now. It's not a big deal. So once again, into the gel. Oh, but we're gonna do these last two here. So I'm gonna do this one on the side. And if I gotta put the hole. See, I didn't have the hole in the middle. And I kind of made a mistake there. So I wanna make sure I always have the hole put in the middle there, guys. Just little tips. Little tips that worked for me. It's a nice little guy. Now, on the next one, we're doing the stem root right here. These are gonna be the ones on the last two rows on each end. So I've got the last row here. Put the hole in the middle. Stem root number two. A little squish. Booyah. There we go. Just moving along here nicely, guys. Quite easy. Coming right out of the water once again, right into the peat. Give it a little squish. A little poke. Yeah, this is how we get things done. to the stem root. That's my last two rows. I'm cutting from the same branch, so at least we know, right? 
a little a little experiment. Now with this experiment, here's what you're gonna do with something like this, guys. I'm gonna cut this leaf off here. I'm gonna probably get rid of this little leaf stuff here. I'm gonna go right below here on a 45, and I'm gonna cut that just below the knuckle there. There you go. I'm gonna dip that into water again, once again into water, and then into the stem root gel. This one's gonna go here on the end. Try to put the hole in there. A little squirt coming out the bottom. And we're one, two, four, five, six, seven. We're ten clones in. Let's get back over here, guys. Cut some more clones. Get them in here. We'll kind of follow up here when we get into some more. And uh, here we go. I figured you had a different view here, guys. You know what? I'm kind of working away, and what I'm doing here is um, I'm slowly cutting the whole. See how I'm just like stripping the clones off of this? Quite easy. I'm just like grabbing it like that, pulling it off. Boom. Pulling that off just like that. See that leaf there? I can just kind of cut off. Doing the same thing here, but you know what? As you can see, it's kind of like giving your big haircut right down the center and taking that top piece off. So slowly just working away here, I want to show you exactly the reasons why I waited so long, right? So even like right here, I forget this will be my top piece here. So I created the next little spot here. I cut this branch just above the knoll where it's coming a new flower and then this will grow a new branch, right? So it's just kind of little steps on how I'm ensuring that I get uh, the best out of what I'm doing here. Kind of showing you slowly but surely. It's like grabbing into the top of this one right here, and you can see the different nodes. And if I really, really want to, I can probably cut it right about here. Boom. See that? That's a perfect, amazing clone. So, now with this one here, I'm basically cutting this on a 45. See that, guys? I gave it a little scrape, like always. That's a pretty big leaf coming off this. I'm gonna cut that one off. And once again, with this, I'm just gonna kinda of give this a little bit of a trim. Once this plant gets big enough, we'll definitely uh, get rid of that leaf, will kinda of grow itself out, right? So, just kinda of slowly cutting this mother down. That's all I'm doing here, as you can see. You can see right through here now. That's what I'm getting at. I got about um, 20 clones cut here, so my main clones, I'm going to cut the top off like this here, and then I'm going to really concentrate and clean out the bottom and allow the tops to really grow up. So it's kind of going to get down here, guys. I'm going to get down to the bottom here now. I'm going to bring the back around. So now I'm getting down to the bottom down here. This is where all the, we say that some of the best clones you get are going to come down from the bottom here. Like this one right down here. I'm just going to peel this one out of the bottom. All right. As you can see, this one had some a little thrip damage. That's what we're talking about. The bottle's gonna probably have a little bit of thrip damage. So I'm just kind of cutting this one out here like that. I'm gonna get that in there. These are some pretty big clones, so I don't need it that big. I can even just cut this one, like I said, just below the node here. Just like that. Getting right inside of this plant, seeing exactly where I want to cut my clones from. Grabbing these centers out, create new ones. And what I mean by doing that, let me get you guys down here. See what happens. Okay, so see this plant right here, what I'm doing here is just above that leaf, you can see this little spot right there, so I'm going to cut it just above that leaf there. Boom, just like that. Now you can see exactly, that's going to be, that, that there's going to create so many more pollen, it's going to be awesome. Right there. That's going to go into a new branch. Check out. So, Beautiful clone, and now we're going to create more clones. And of course, with me, I'm going to trim that leaf up. I'm going to go to that leaf. I'm going to cut just below this on a 45, like always. Got a little trim there. It's going to go into my little bin right here in water. 
got everything going here. So once again, uh, cotton clones getting this mom already, and um, hey, this train's getting filled up. There's the branch I cut off, so that like one two three. There's like four good clones in here, but they're not that tall, right? So what I normally do at this point is I cut this big stalk. Right across the top. Put this back into the water. Cut this one big leaf off here now. And there is another clone. So, pretty much, it's thick. At this point, I'm going to give this a nice scrape. Expose it. I'm gonna dip this in water. I'm gonna dip this in the rooting hormone again. I'm gonna put this one right on the end. A little experiments to show you guys, right? Boom. This is an experiment. I've done this a lot, so it's definitely gonna root really nicely. But I'm gonna show you guys how it roots. So we got that one there on the end. We now we need that one, two, three, four, five. We need five more. We have five more about roughly the same size here. Then we've got the stem root against the, the gel there. We've got that on going on. Always giving this a spin, cleaning out the centers, finding out those really nice clones that I'm looking for. I got some beautiful ones in here. And it's exactly how we create those clones, just like that. And that's what we're looking for. Just a beautiful, beautiful clone. Once again, I cut it off like that. I get into here, I get it on the 45. Give it a little bit of a scrape. Dip this in the water once again. Booyah. Right into the stem root gel. I mean, this is the, the powder. We're using the stem root powder. Once again, I'm ready to put the hole in the center. Little squish. Good to go. Right in the center. Back over to the plant one more time. Looking for those epic clones. Oh, there's one. Wow, that one's beautiful. I'm gonna cut that one probably right about there. So now I'm doing non peeling ones and peeling ones so you can show the difference. Always in the water. As you can see, having all the tools just available for you, just so it's going to make your life really easy. Really key important things to do here, guys. 84 degrees, we've got three more clones to come on the end here. And then, then we're going to cut the other side. We're going to get this underneath this LED and 150 watt right here on this table right over here. Move these moms over to this side and we're going to leave the one with the Gropito. And that's purely, we're growing that one. I want to see exactly how that's going to turn out with that Gropito. I'm really, really excited with it. I've seen some great results so far. Well, let me get right into the middle. Start cleaning up the center. That's why we got it. Look at that. I mean, that makes me very, very happy. It's a beautiful, I can get two out of that. That's one, and that's two. So now I'm gonna show you this. So here's two clones, really easy and simple. But as you can see this, here's one right here, and that's two. So I'm gonna cut this right on the bottom, straight across, and put this into the water. See that? I'm gonna dip this in the water. And cut this here on the 45. Give it a little scrape. I should have dipped that in water. And I didn't. Some little test ones here, because we only need 42, right? So, brump. There you go. We're going to reference these little guys here on the end, right? And then we'll do the stem root on the other side, too. Now, once again, that's a perfect clone. Just, just willing him begging to go into there so I'm gonna kind of give it a little bit of a trim on this leaf I'm gonna cut a little bit of this leaf off just so uh way I like it a little trim there back into some water now maybe we'll do a little test with gel and powder 
Why not? Mix them both. See what happens. One more. One more for this side. We got 25. Quite happy. And uh, we're just cleaning out the centers here, guys. We're creating beautiful, beautiful clones. I mean, it's like, wow. Forty-five. I'm gonna cut this off here, just like that, and like that. Booyah! Water. Gel. Powder. Create the hole. There we go. In we go. Now with this here. Maybe we got things going here now. Got the dome a little dusty. Can I get a pull on the sides like this? And pull it up. Because you don't want to get make sure all the leaf is it's not coming out like that in the bottom. So I always tend to kind of give a little tuck. Make sure. There you go. Cotton clones, rooting really one on one. How I cut my clones. We're gonna fill up this tray. We're gonna continue going over here. We'll talk more about the LED and, and the 150, what we're gonna use these in. And you know what? As you can see, the mom, she's slowly getting stripped down. We'll show you how we're gonna create this mom. And uh, hey, getting in here, guys. Keeping it real. I'm gonna wait till that dome kind of heats up. Because why? We're gonna put this little friend here. On the Heating mat goes right underneath of this, of course. We have a heating mat underneath of here, guys. Keep them nice and warm because it is cold out. I'm going to plug that in and get this going. Just cleaning this thing out here, right? So you want to keep it clean. You know, I'm cutting clones. You can see the, a lot of the stuff hasn't been able to get... Uh, down in the bottom here, so pretty much I want to get all nicely cleaned out. See exactly where my clones are inside of this plant, and take a better look at creating this beautiful model. All right? I didn't see there wasn't a lot of light penetration down in the bottom here, so I got a lot of clones that could have been beautiful, and, and they're going to be. But uh, at the same time here, um, I didn't let it go really long because I wanted to get some bushy bushy clones out of here and as you can see there's beautiful clones in here everywhere just everywhere so i'm getting some of these bigger families off in here to get deep 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 inside of this plant taking great looks at some of these beautiful clones once again getting right inside and because that branch is at about the same height i'm going to go down a little bit lower and you can see i've got that going right in here I'm going to do the same with this branch. I'm going to get in here and I'm going to create something one, two coming off there. And get like that top one probably there. So I'm kind of determining exactly what I want to do here. And I've got all my different heights here coming up. So I'm going to get this one probably. That looks like a beautiful clone right there. And at the same time, I got a different height. I'm going to create my model about this height here. Cutting this top off pretty much here. From here to here, that's going to go. Or I can even start knuckling it and bending it, and so you can bend it over. We've done this in the past. I showed the bending and the knuckling. You kind of give it a little ease. You kind of work it in. And you can kind of slowly bend it over. I don't know if I can do that or not, but um, in the meantime, I'm getting this beautiful clone here ready. Once again, that's a big, big leaf. So what I like to do, just a sucker leaf, I can probably pretty much get rid of it, just like that. It's a big clone. I'm going to go from there. I get everything ready and then I put it into my cup. 45. And thing into my cup. So that's what I'm doing, guys. We're getting this all ready. Well, I'm 
getting down to the end. I have to show you what we got going on here. So this is what's happening, guys. We got um, we got the Clonex gel and the stem root. That's what we've been using. So these ones here all have powder, as you can see. We got big. We got the tops. We got the sides. How how we've kind of pretty much done everything in here is kind of pretty much mimicked over here. So um, I've done that. That's what the stem root. I'm using the Clonex. And uh, so the next thing we're going to use here now is both. We're going to do these last five here. We've got 55 that we're going to try and root. So there's five. Then we're going to use the Clonex gel and we're going to use the stem root powder. We've got five. They're all roughly the same and all cut differently. Some are peeled, some are a little bit different. So we've got five little tests in there just to kind of see. Hopefully you guys can remember. So I'm going to click you onto the tripod, just kind of like what I do. Boom. And uh, coming up next, guys, we're dipping not one, but two different rooting gels here. Gels and uh, two different rooting hormones, I would say. Because we got the gel that we're just dipping into, like that, and then I'm going to move it around the side of the powder. So now I got the gel and the powder. Booyah. Gel and powder. These ones are going right in the end here. These are all gel right in the middle. Two on the end are the rooting, are the rooting powder. We're doing the same with both. And then the one on this particular end, we're doing gel and powder. I used to always do gel and powder. Then I started doing powder and then I started doing gel. Now I'm gonna do gel and powder. I'm gonna do gel and powder on each side, do them all together and see what goes first. Cause I'm curious. Just like you guys are curious, right? We're all curious on different ways. So you can see how I cut this one a little bit different, not above the node or below, but halfway in between. And that one here is going to be right dead center in the middle. Booyah, just like that. Very happy. And this one here was cut just below the node, as you can see, right there. So it's one closest to the end. Booyah. Just stick it right in there. See the water come out the bottom, which is good. And last but not least, the one that I've peeled. You can see that one's just being peeled off. So yeah, you know what? Always experimenting, always seeing what works the best for me. You know what? Because, I mean, you really got to know when it's growing medicine, what you're doing. You want to know what works the best, right? Well, that's why the reason why I'm done so well with my pain control, because I want to know what worked best. Cannabis worked best. That was my best pain control. That's why I grow my own. That's why I'm sitting here today talking to you about my medicine and how I'm able to obtain pain control with this. That's what I like. It gives me a quality of life. I'm sitting in here talking to you guys, going through, learning and understanding this plant and how it actually benefits me every day. Now, final product here is me and you guys putting the last of these ones in here. Here we go. We'll do it together. We'll put these ones here. Now I've done a few more experiments just like I always do because I always want to check things out. They're going to be a little bit different. Try and get the best. Here's the top with the stem root. Then we've got that top in there. So we pretty much got a little bit of everything in here just to see how things are going to pan out. And then last but not least are all these small little ones I put down on the end. These are all the stem root. You like that? Okay, guys. So, once again, we're at work today, date, and uh, we are. Well, today's the 17th. Five, six, seven, eight days before Christmas. Booyah. I'm looking for roots on Christmas Day. That would be a merry, merry Christmas. Don't forget, we're going to start going in. We just came through a super moon, so we're going down and going into a new moon. This is just going to be a beautiful time to cut clones. The solstice is coming up November, December 21st. Remember that Christmas solstice. You got, you got it all happening here right now. This is the season. This is the time. Grow your own, guys. And uh, coming up next, let's see some roots. Now... Now, let's just take a look at just what we've done here. So, 
We've got the pile of leaf, everything's kind of done here. We've got a nice canopy full of green there. You can see how beautiful that is, right? So definitely got some good clones going on there. Beautiful cuts. Have to say those are some of the best cuts that I've seen. Now we take a look at what happened to our mom. Our mom has been stripped down. I even left some of these top leaves on here, but you know what? We don't need these big fan leaves. I'm just going to take them right off. Ooh, yeah. Because that mom is going to be cutting clones now probably for another two months. So we're going to be concentrating on this plant and showing you how we're going to be able to manipulate it. And the first thing I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to... Oh, I didn't want to break it. I was going to bend it, but I'm going to break that top off. That's what just happened. So I was going to try and soften it, but what happened is I broke it off. And that was kind of a mistake. But this is the way things happen and that's exactly kind of what we're looking at now that is going to be our new medicush mom for the next probably couple years so there you go creating a mom cutting clones getting a full tray and seeing you guys next time